If you watch enough film and TV, you tend to notice the same actors popping up again and again. And I'm not talking about main characters, I'm talking about the actors who play the side roles, the ones who you recognise but can't always quite place. If you've watched a lot of British TV from the 60s to the 80s, there may be one face in particular you've seen many times without realising. And that is the face of Norman Mitchell. With over 250 credits to his name, Norman has managed to cement himself in the history of British TV and film. Girls driving taxis? What will they think of next? I have been away from you now for three years. And it don't seem a day too long. <laughs> what? You know your temper, then, do you? It makes no odds whether you do or you don't. You're still liable. Oh, yes, that's the boy, all right. It contains 25 kilograms of high explosive. It makes a crater six meters diameter, three meters in depth. The show is continuous. They are naked and they do dance. Well, I don't know much about it. I'll just bash them out. The painter's gone for a cup of tea. They said 27 coats, aren't that right, Nobby? 28, but who's counted? Right then, who's the driver of this vehicle? Nobody. I made my budgie after you. Oh, Mildred. Hello, George. Hello, Ted. Hello, George. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, hello, uh, I'm looking for a Yorkshire... What's the name? Pudding. I brought back the sand. My goldfish is dead. Hey there, I'm Wendell P. Clark. <laughs> Hello. What have we got here, then? If you ask me, it was one of those meteorites you read about. Stone me. It certainly did. All right, then. Begin at the beginning, shall we, Mr. Edmonds? What's the matter with him? Oh, you can't stand these places. <laughs> I can't stand the smell. Yeah, I have to say. Underwear. Norman! 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 The lighting in this video is terrible. 